This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet, the minimalist wallet with RFID blocking technology, a lifetime warranty, and a 45 day no questions asked money back guarantee. Okay. Pixel 6 Pro review is done and it is dark. Usually after I make a big long review, I like to make a little bit more of a chill video. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now, tomorrow morning, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go take some photos and just have a really good time. I will see you guys tomorrow for some photos. I meant to go get photos, but I ate crepes instead. I think, well, I did need to come into town and I wanted to film the intro sequence here. I actually think we'd be better tackling this photo shoot closer to home. Alright, so this video is going to be split into two parts, so we're going to have the photo shoot section of this, which we're doing now, and then I'm going to show you my new process for editing photos, because it has changed a bit, and that was quick, I've just seen the first shot. Look at these colours, I'm definitely going to try to make this work. Yes. Yeah, that's perfect, who knew? All you need is a telephoto. Fun little tip, if your photo sucks, try getting a bit closer, often it will suck less. So while we're walking to the next section, I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor, which is the Ridge Wallet. So I've been a big fan of Ridge Wallet products for a pretty long time now. One feature they offer that I really like is the fact that they have a 45 day money back trial period. So if you get one of these wallets and you decide you don't want it, you can simply send it back and get a full refund. Another thing is they're so confident in the build quality of their wallets, you get a full lifetime warranty. Again, I always appreciate things that are built to last. They have a huge amount of designs on their website. This one right here is the 18 karat gold variant. Despite the minimal footprint of Ridge wallets, there's room for up to 12 cards plus cash. If you're interested in getting 15% off at checkout, then you can use my code or click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment to get 15% off until December the 7th. After that, it will return to 10%. And thank you once again to The Ridge for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I think I have found our new photo. I think seeing as this is going to be a close-up one, I'm going to try portrait mode with this one. Typically, I don't like to rely on portrait mode that much. Occasionally, it can miss and ruin the photo. But ugh, I'm hoping because it really would bring this photo to life. So, fingers crossed. Let's get a nice, some nice split tonality. All right, nice. So obviously we are gonna be editing these later. So I don't know exactly which one I'm gonna use. I might be able to use both, but chances are at least one of them's gonna be good. Now next, I really wanna get a landscape shot because oh, autumn landscapes are incredible. They're one of my favorites and I think I know just the place. Okay, yeah, this one is definitely gonna be awesome. Hopefully I can bring this out on camera. I've really got my fingers crossed. It's the perfect time of day as well. I mean, the sun is just setting, so my exposure's probably gone. Yeah, it has. But look at the magical effect it has on the sky. Oh my goodness. That. Okay, so earlier this year, I got a very similar shot of the hill, but now that all of the trees have gone golden, Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk before we can get a vantage point to take this photo. Might snap a few more on the way, but this will definitely be worth it, provided that we get there before the sun sets. Yep. See, I liked those, but I really wanna try to get a little bit closer so we can really bring out those oranges. Definitely don't regret getting this shot though. I mean, the nice green grass, the nice sky, it all really comes together and hopefully we can do something really cool with the editing.
right, uh, we're here. See what I mean? So we got this amazing field. We got the gorgeous sky. And then we have the just breathtaking hill. Let's get some photos. I don't even think I'll need to do much to that one. I think it'll look incredible out of the camera, which honestly is pretty rare for iPhone photos. Don't get me wrong, iPhones can take very nice photos, but often you really do need to put a little bit of effort in in order to really bring the most out of them and actually make them look like a good photo. Often phones will have that image quality, but sometimes the colors will just be a bit lacking, but sometimes just enhancing the colors, fixing the lines or just adjusting the crop can really bring your photos to life. So I'm going to snap a few more photos on the way home. Then Let's edit. All right, so we're back in the studio. I have the iPad here, which is now what I use to edit all my photos on. I have this knockoff Apple Pencil because honestly, it works for me. I don't really need the pressure sensitivity of the more expensive official Apple Pencils. And yeah, this, this helps me get some more accuracy. It helps me draw lines to straighten things just works. All right, so first of all, we have, well, the first real photo, seeing as all the rest got scrapped due to, well, there was a car in the one which looked terrible and I'm pretty sure is abandoned. And the second one, for some reason, the focus missed. So that's why you take more photos than you need. Anyway, this next one, see, you just don't have, the, these oranges just aren't as nice as they were in real life. I'm trying to find the best example because, I mean, portrait mode can be a little hit or miss. I like the second one more because it just seems that the edge detection worked a little better. So that's the one we're going to go with. And now we're going to start with a preset. So we're either going to go full vo- Oh, it's, it's gorgeous, but it just looks a little bit too intense. I think we're definitely going to be using this preset on the hill photos because I really want to bring up those oranges there because I mean the light and the time of day, they weren't exactly crystal clear and I really want to enhance those. But for now, I think we're going to try something a little bit less intense on this one. Just going to go through, find what I like. Ooh, macchiato can work. As long as we take down the exposure, that could look really good. I love the colors in that one. I am going to add a touch more contrast, but instead of just really flooding this image with contrast, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bit of dehaze. It's kind of blown the highlights out a little, so. And now I am just gonna push those oranges a little bit more to, I don't know. I'm gonna try, I'm, I'm just gonna play around with the saturation. Honestly, that's what editing photos is really. It's just playing around till you find something you like. There's no right way to do it. It may not be picture perfect, but I really like that. And a bit more saturation back into the greens, push them even further into the blues and we are done. I think that that's our first photo. Now the next one, was the landscape. Now, again, I had some issues with this one and, and just focusing because it was pretty late in the day when I got around to taking these photos. So uh, we could try to recover this one, but it does look very noisy and I don't know, we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, I love that. I would love it even more if it was like in focus. I just think it was too dark to take like a, a landscape photo like this. All right, so we're now gonna move on to the really special photo. So first of all, we have the one that we took from higher up with the field. Now this one, it already calls for like a full vibes preset. So that's exactly what we're gonna add, full vibes. That is too much. But that's the point of presets as a starting point. It just gives you it often, even if you don't end up using it, it's just inspiration. So I'm just gonna click done on that and then raise the exposure because it's too dark. I clicked I don't want the tutorials, but but for some reason they think I, I still want the tutorials. So one of the great things about Lightroom Mobile is that it still has a lot of the really good features that I constantly use in Lightroom, but you can do it with a pen. It's just that much more interactive. Yes, there we go. Maybe a bit more contrast to the sky, actually. Maybe that would look good. Then we're going to just adjust the sky. We're going to make it a little bit more tealish. Oh, yes. See, this is why I love editing photos. It just turned the photo into what you originally saw with your eyes. I love for photos like this, just getting like a load of sky and having like 
two thirds of the vertical image just be sky and then the rest be the rest of the landscape. That's why I shoot a lot of portrait landscapes. It You, you get to do cool stuff like this. Finally, we have this last glorious image. Honestly, I I love this. I, I can't wait to see how it looks. What we're going to do again, we're going to add our starting point. We're going to go again. It's a little dark, but we can fix that with a little bit of exposure. I'm going to get the sky to where I want it. And then I'm going to mask out the rest and adjust that if needed. So I don't want any of this sky. Again, that's another thing about like using a, a touchscreen device to edit photos. It's just that much more intuitive. Like I can do selections so fast. It's crazy. I am going to brighten that a little and I'm going to just drop the saturation because it's a bit it's a bit too much. Saturation is good. I like saturation, but it's sometimes it can be a bit too much. So what we're going to do, maybe I'm going to warm this all up just to the oranges. Yeah, just just slight adjustments can make a huge difference. I'm going to now turn down the overall sharpness because I think it's a little bit intense with this image. I mean, phone sensors, they still have their, their shortcomings. They're not perfect and they're much better than they were, especially after you're doing like this much editing to a photo. Certainly not the best idea to sharpen too much because it'll really bring out like the imperfections of the phone sensor. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Kind of looks a little bit like a Windows XP wallpaper. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. As I said, just been a nice, really chill one today. The last review I did really took it out of me so tired. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, by the way, what's your favorite coffee. I mean, completely unrelated to the video, but oh well. Once again, a huge thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video, as well as my generous patrons who help support the show. As for now, though, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh.